front is moving through dry, but that wind is bringing another factor. It's the wind chills. And our extreme weather specialist, Chris Higgins, here to tell us the how and the why the wind brings the chill. Hey, Chris. Yeah, it's something that we almost instinctively know, Glenn. It's when the wind blows, we tend to feel cooler as human beings. And the wind blowing is going to be a big factor tomorrow. Now, the human body has heat. It gives off the heat. Our body temperature is 98.6 degrees. It radiates heat away from it a lot like uh, a fire would radiate heat away from it. Now, on a calm day, some of that heat stays close to the human skin and we feel comfortably warm. However, tomorrow is not going to be a calm day. We're going to have strong and gusty winds, and that changes the dynamics entirely. The wind blows across the body, and it takes that little layer of warmth that's right near our skin and gets rid of it. It blows it away, and then the body tries to replenish that, and it blows that layer of heat away. So the body actually starts to cool as a result of the gusty winds blowing the heat away from our body. That's why we tell you to bundle up. Now, the formula that we use to compute the wind chill factor is very complex. Here it is coming across your screen right now. It's not something that we like to do on the fly. There's a lot of numbers in there, so let's do it the easy way. Let's talk about the wind chill chart, and we'll have this attached to the story on Fox 2 Now after the show. You can go to the horizontal axis, it's the air temperature. The vertical axis is the wind gust. And for tomorrow morning, when the kids hit the bus stop, the actual air temperature is likely to be somewhere between 15 and 20 degrees. And then you come down and look at the wind speed, about 15 miles per hour. That's going to compute to a wind chill factor between 0 and 5 above at the bus stop tomorrow. Those kiddos and the adults, for that matter, are all going to be shivering as a result of those cold, gusty winds. Maybe the coldest wind chills so far this season. I'm already getting the chills just thinking about how cold it's going to be.